I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and while we usually look at rifles and long guns, today we are looking at a crossbow and how its ties to firearm technology makes this one of the greatest crossbows on the market. Woo. When we're talking in 2020, the new model for this year is Raven's R29 and R29X Sniper. And while we would love to get our hands on that one, it's been so incredibly popular because of its capability that they've all flown off the shelf six months before the deer season. But what we were able to grab is their R20 model, which is very similar, just shooting slightly slower and having a very small width difference in the axle to axle ratio there. But when we're talking performance in the field, we're not going to see a big difference between those two. So let's take a closer look at the R20 and what makes this one of the top of the line crossbows on the market. Woo. Dead on right there. Why are we talking about a crossbow on guns.com? And that's because this is the first crossbow that's putting out an accuracy guarantee at 100 yards. Now that doesn't mean we should necessarily shoot a deer at 100 yards, but that the bow is promising incredible accuracy. Something that just a couple years ago was thought impossible of a crossbow or a bow. So how does it do that? It actually draws some technology from the firearms world by using a stock with a nice design that fits the shooter the way it would fit a rifle shooter a trigger that's drawing from rifle technology and giving a nice crisp break, not like those gritty heavy triggers that we saw in crossbows of five or 10 years ago. And also talking about ergonomics on the bow and also really narrowing this up. So where we used to have crossbows with wide limbs that swung out several feet and took up the whole space in your hunting blind, we now have a cocked axle to axle ratio that's not much wider than my hand. Now this is uncocked. When we pull this in, this is a real small footprint in the blind. But what really makes the Raven interesting is their new technology. Instead of having the bolt that we know from a crossbow riding on a rail where we have friction all the way down the rail, they've designed basically a wheel system here at the front. The only contact here is with these front rollers that Raven has designed and you can see they roll, obviously, but there's also some spring tension to that. So that arrow rests on a very small surface area, so there's not a lot of drag, not a lot of friction to slow that down or to throw off the accuracy. The Raven is incredibly well thought out and in that essence is essentially a bow for everyone. And why do I say that? And it's because of the features and the way it can be used. We'll take a look here at the details on the Raven, starting right here from the trigger. This comes out of the box at four pounds. When we tested it on our Lyman Digital pull gauge, we're actually just a hair under four pounds. And it's an incredible trigger for a crossbow. As we come back here, we see our cocking mechanism where the crank fits in, which is actually magnetic so that handle won't accidentally fall out and cause noise, as well as the ambidextrous safety. So ambidextrous on both controls here, as I rotate the bow around, you'll see the same thing here. There's our cocking mechanism on the other side and there's our safety. Not only do we have the ambidextrous safety here, but also the anti-dry fire mechanism. We do not want one of these bows to go off without the bolt in place that's gonna control this system because the bow likely will fly apart like any bow has a tendency to do. So that arrow needs to be locked up into the mechanism. You'll hear a nice click when it's seated in there, and then we know the bow will be allowed to fire. This nice raised cheek pad here is a soft touch rubber feel, so it gets the shooter's eye nicely in line with the optic. But what really wins the day is that this bow can be shot by anybody because the crank that comes with it, this is the integral mechanism. We have the cocker that sits right here where your quiver will sit on the other side. But as we cock that, it's only using 12 pounds of force. So that's not much when you're running a crank and it's drawing back hundreds of pounds of weight here from the string. So you don't have to worry. You can't pull it by hand. There's no way to do it. You use your crank to cock it and you can use the crank also to decock it. So you don't need to fire the bow at the end of the day. When we want to get the bow cocked, put our cocking handle in place. We press the release and take some tension off by coming first backwards. That releases that system. What we can now do is take that handle off. And while I press that release, we'll allow that to come down and grab onto the string. When we want to actually cock it, when we have that locked on, we'll just do a demonstration for now, but it's just as simple as pulling back. This is one of the only knocks I have on this model is you hear that sound. This is not incognito in the field. So we want to get that bow cocked before we get out to our stand. And it stops when you get to the end. We take our crank off and store it again with the quiver. 
So what do you get when you order the Raven package? Because we know they're not cheap, but they are quality built. So we're getting our bow already assembled and pre-tuned out of the box, the quiver that comes with it, along with three of Raven's bolts. These are carbon fiber at three one thousandths. You should flex them before shooting. We get field tips. The quiver that we have here that comes with them will mount on the included mount with the bow here. All I do is press that button in, snap that into place, and it's just that easy to put it in. And it's the same thing when I want that crank back out of there. Push the button, I have it. It's a silent system. I push it and pop it back in. And as we turn this over, what we see here is the safety panel. And what that is for, as any crossbow user will see, as we handle this, we do not under any circumstances want a thumb or any fingers to come up in the way of this rail. It is 7.1 pounds, so it's very similar to carrying a rifle. We have a bit more of a weight forward design just because of the way the bow is built. So our pivot point is right around the forend here, is about where that weight is gonna sit in balance. It does shoulder nicely, it's comfortable for me. It's not an adjustable length stock, but we've had larger frame shooters shoot it, we've had smaller frame shooters, and everybody seems to feel quite comfortable with the way that comes in. When you buy a Raven, whether from a dealer or any place else, it comes out of the box already fully assembled and pre-tuned, not like a lot of other crossbows that come in pieces that need to be put together and have the string fed through the system. This one's ready to go out of the box. You can mount your own scope or have your dealer mount it for you. We take here a closer look at the skeletonized aluminum riser, which really gets that scope up nicely in line with the comb. And we have options to move that forward or back depending on how we like to view the scope. We have here, it's a basic no-name scope. I don't see a brand on it, but what is really nice about it is it's graduated from 20 yards all the way out to 100 in 10 yard increments. So I have those marks in there. Once I zero this baby at 20 yards, I know exactly where I'm gonna be right out to 100, and it has proven itself to be true in the field. Here we go, now we've moved our bag way back to 100 yards, and I'll tell you what, when I'm sitting here with a crossbow, that bag looks like it's awfully far away. But we've practiced, and I know it can do it, they promise a three inch group at 100 yards, so we've got a nice rest here on the bench. There's a little cross breeze, but these are nice hunting conditions. So I'm gonna shoot a three shot group. I'm looking here through my scope on that target, not for dead center, but I'm gonna shoot for the larger circle that's just above the center. There's a smaller one right above that one, but for the bigger one, just in case I have some drop at 100, I wanna make sure my bolts are still in the bag. So we're just gonna shoot a three shot group and see what we come up with. So here we go. I'm just gonna get on here. I hold at my 100 yard point in the scope. There we are. I'm just a little low and left on that one. Now, get ready for the next one. I can't even see it from here to tell you the truth. It might be close to the other one. I hope it is. We'll see when we go look at the bag. One more time. And I see that one just to the right and right at the bottom of the bullseye that I was shooting for. So well, let's take a walk down and take a look. Well, here we are, 100 yards away from the Raven crossbow where we started. And it was hard to tell. I actually couldn't even see that second shot because it was so close to the first one. But we took the tape out, we measured it, and we're just inside of two and three quarter inches. Now, this is the group that we filmed for you. We've shot a couple others earlier that were even a slightly smaller, one that was a little bit wider, but everything did indeed stay inside of three inches when we're shooting from a rest. Maybe out in the field, if you're shooting offhand or something, you're not gonna shoot a three inch group at 100 yards. But here's the caveat. Even though I'm 100% confident from the bench in shooting 100 yard really tight groups well inside of a vital size target, I am not comfortable and will not shoot 100 yards at a deer or any game animal. The thing you have to know is when you're shooting this, there's a lot of arc, and even though this is a super fast crossbow, there's still some lag time between trigger pull and impact. And it's not much, but you don't need much for an animal to jump the string or move just slightly when you're taking the shot. I want to be as absolutely ethical as possible, so I'm making a quick kill for myself. I feel comfortable to 70 yards with the Raven. That's the point where I'm watching that shot in slow motion, and I can really see that arc 
picking up where there's a lot more lag. But out to 70 yards, it's pretty much trigger pull, bang, trigger pull, bang to the target. Past that, heck, it's fun to stretch it out even further. But on animals, you make your own decision on where you're confident and where you feel you can make an ethical kill. But for now, this is a heck of a fun crossbow to shoot. We're loving just about everything about this bow as we spend more time with it on the range and in the woods doing some deer hunting this fall. The only thing that gives hunters and shooters pause is the price tag. How much money do you want to spend on a crossbow? Well, that depends. How much fun do you want to have and how sure do you want to be of that shot? The MSRP on this Raven R20 is 1725. Now this is last year's model. If you want to go to the new for 2020 R29 sniper package, we're talking MSRP over three grand, but you're getting even more features than this bow has with even more pinpoint accuracy precision. So if you're just a gun person, you're probably thinking, why do I even want to talk about a crossbow and why would I want to spend that kind of money on the Raven? Well, I'll tell you what, Anything that extends your hunting season, if you're a serious hunter, should have your attention because I know it has mine. I can extend my hunting season by two months on the front end and another month on the back end here in the Midwest by doing a crossbow or a regular bow season. And yes, I still like to hunt with my old fashioned longbow, but there's days where if I'm traveling somewhere and I'm going after a big buck, I want everything in my favor that I can do that's legal. And in areas where you can hunt with a crossbow, sometimes I like to take the raven out and have every edge in the field. I'm Kristen for guns.com. Thanks for joining me today for a look at something a little different than what we normally do here at guns.com. Give us a like, share, and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest guns, ammunition, and more coming from guns.com. Mm -hmm.